important information of advice and as we pursue our goals and dreams. We will, our first career clip segment will start off with our commander in chief, Dr. Brockhead, the principal of the Miss Middle School. Good morning, Dr. Brockhead. Thank you for having, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Is, career, is education your first and only career? Technically, yes. Um, I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do and I picked it in high school. And once I decided that I wanted to teach, I almost immediately said that I would just continue in education. So that was what I went to college for, and that's what any degree I received had to do with education. Did, did you ever want to do anything else other than education? Believe it or not, I, I initially, I wanted to make commercials. Um, I didn't know what that meant though. I didn't know what type of job that was. I just knew it was something to do with TV. And because I didn't know anyone who made commercials or I knew I didn't know anyone in that field, I didn't know it was something that I could do. So um, I kind of got a desperation. I decided to go into education. My aunts were teachers and I knew some people who were teachers and a friend of mine wanted to be a teacher. So I was like, all right, why not do that? Um, but it wasn't until I was actually in college that I realized that I could have been something else. Um, I started writing and I actually had uh, a side job writing for music magazines and writing for music companies, doing bios and press kits and interviewing, like you're interviewing me, interviewing um, artists, some that you've never heard of before, some are, that are still famous. Um, and I've been doing that on the side, even though I'm in education, I still do it. What advice would you give to the Brooklyn Nation as we pursue our dreams and goals? Well. I, I would definitely say that um, the first place to start when you're thinking about what you want to do is not to box yourself into a career or a type of position. What I realize is that what I understand about myself is that I like helping people and I want to make an impact. So whatever I'm doing that is associated with those things is fine with me. So if it's teaching, if it's help, teaching is helping a person, then I can teach. If uh, making an impact is being assistant principal or principal or uh, speaking or writing something, then as long as my skill set, then I'll do it. Um, the things that aren't what you are passionate about, the things that aren't closely aligned to who you are as a human being is what will cause it to be work. So don't pursue money, don't pursue fame, just be, I think that the things that are for you will come for you as you figure out who you are. So I, I encourage you to experience things. I encourage you to take risks so that as you make failures and, uh, and take risks, then you figure out more and more what you want to do and how you want to go about doing it. And then that will fall into a lot of opportunities for you. Why did you want to become a principal? Impact, it went back to impact. Initially it was because I just wanted to, right? It made sense. So I, was, <laughs> I wanted to teach, so I'm gonna teach for 10 years, I'm gonna be assistant principal for God knows how long, and then I'm gonna be a principal, and then I'm gonna retire, and then I'm gonna teach at a college and get a, 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 a jacket with suede elbow patches and smoke pipe and, and then die. That, that was like my whole plan. Um, but <laughs> my plan just got totally thrown out because two years into the fact, into teaching, I started teaching in college. So it was, I had to wait till I was old and retired to, to, to teach college. Um, so I always said, okay, I'm gonna move up the ladder, uh, but I didn't really have any like desire other than saying I was gonna do that. Um, but as I taught and then as I moved up, I moved up only because I felt that I wanted to make an impact in a different way. So as a teacher, I got to teach a lot of kids, um, had a lot of great relationships with students. And then I said, wow, I feel like there's more I would like to do for more students. And I thought that becoming an assistant principal would help me to help teachers to make more of an impact. And then I was like, well, I feel like I don't have enough influence. I think it's more that I'd like to be able to do. And I think the principal position allowed me to do that. So that's when I you know, pursued being a principal. And um, that's what put me in a position more than just the idea of just going up. It was, okay, how can I have more influence? How can I help more students? How can I help more educators? And that's what made me think that being a principal made sense. 
What was your journey to becoming a principal? Technically, the journey is teach, then, then go and become an assistant principal, and then um, become a principal. Um, but in reality, it was about, the journey was more so about learning more about myself and understanding why I wanted to go to that next step and taking um, time to think through and reflect about the things that I wanted to do and how I wanted to help. Uh, I did a lot of mentorship outside of just teaching in the classroom, which helped me to understand more with regard to education and how to help students and understand kids. Um, I've been involved with a lot of social organizations outside of school that also helped. And the more I got involved, the more it allowed me to understand what I needed to do in this position. So um, I would say for the most part, technically the journey was that I had to teach first because I needed to know what the job entailed and how to impact kids. And in order to teach teachers how to do that, I needed to be good at it myself. So I had to train, I had to go back to school. Um, I went to college initially for education. I went back and got a master's degree in education. And then I got another add-on um, in leadership, educational leadership. And then I went back to school again and got a specialist in education leadership. And then I went back again and got a doctorate in education leadership. And I don't, you don't need a doctorate to be a principal at all, um, but it was something that I wanted for myself. So that's ultimately how I got here. And then I get the interview, right? Obviously I had an interview for it. And someone believed that I can do the job, so that's how I ultimately came got this position. Thank you again, Dr. Godhead, for, get, for giving us your time to interview. Ooh. Madam Member Broncos, E3 is how you see Edson Singh. I am engaged, I am empowered, and I am ethical. Stay Broncos strong.